Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 31 on the new general curriculum math subtest. Now this is a great problem out there if you're an elementary or middle school teacher taking your teacher certification exam because it's an algebra word problem uh, with a real life scenario that embeds slope and x and y intercept and graphing. So we have sort of a real life scenario that we're going to have to work through and understand as well as some of that math involved in graphing a line. Great problem to take a look at. I'm going to start by reading over number 31 and I'm going to make sure that I visualize the scenario first before getting into the math, okay? So let's start. Let's start by reading it over. For number 31 it says, In the early morning, a baker sells two dozen muffins and no donuts. For the rest of the day, sales fall a pattern of seven donuts for every two muffins. If the horizontal axis, x-axis, represents the number of donuts sold in a day and the vertical axis, y-axis, represents the number of muffins sold in a day, which of the following statements describes the graph of a line drawn through the data points? And then we have some options. The line has, and then they all start with that opening, but then it, the line either has a, an x-intercept or a y-intercept of 24 and it either has a slope of 7 over 2 or 2 over 7. So we're going to have to make a, make a fork if we're dealing with x or y intercepts or a slope of 7 over 2 or 2 over 7. Now, remember what I said before. I said focus on the central image. So pause the video right now. Pause it and just focus on the central image. Pause. Unpause. I'm hoping that you picked out for the central image some of these key things like this baker. And the baker's selling muffins, is that right? And they're also selling donuts. That's the gist of our story here. Now it does tell us that uh, in this uh, central image that we're dealing with two dozen muffins. If you want to, you can right away be like two dozen muffins. Well, that's one dozen is um, 12 muffins. Two dozen would be 24 muffins. I kind of like to switch this over right away. So let's see. We got a baker, sells 24 muffins in the beginning of the day, and then no donuts. Okay, so this is the, the scenario. Now, now look at all the math here, all the math that's embedded in this problem. Like, like for example, whenever they mention the word pattern, that's always called for algebra. And, and the word represent, look, represent, represent, that's all algebra. And then we have the horizontal x-axis and the vertical y-axis, algebra, graph of a line, linear algebraic equation, data, points, ordered pairs, and then we got x-intercept, y-intercept, slope. Look at all that math. So in this problem right here, this algebra word problem, the reader has to work with this real-life scenario and embed it with all this math. And I think the easiest and fastest way to do this is to set up, and this is what they want you to do, set up a coordinate plane and sort of graph out some of the information that's in this real-life scenario on the coordinate plane. So when we do the graph, I want you to grab a scrap sheet of paper right now, make your x-axis the horizontal axis, and your y-axis the vertical axis. And let's label the x-axis. This is our input, so we're going to say our, in, our horizontal axis inputs are the uh, donuts, the, the number of donuts, and the y-axis is the number of muffins. Okay, and we always we have uh, values on these number lines. Now, now we're gonna our origin is always zero zero, and our x-axis we're gonna go up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. This represents the number of donuts sold, and our y-axis we can go up by ones or 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 another multiple of some multiple of twenty four. I think for this problem right here, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up by twelve. So we got a dozen here, another dozen here, another dozen here. So that's going to be 12 muffins, 24 muffins, and 36 muffins, right? All right, now let's, let's graph some of the information that they give. Like, for example, the starting point at the beginning of the day, the, the, the baker sells 24 muffins. So that means at the start, so our start here, also known as the y-intercept, when x is 0, y is 24, meaning before they sell any donuts, we always have, when we write out these, court, these points, when x, we always leave with the x, then the y. Before we sell any donuts, 
we've already sold 24 muffins. That's our start. And then we follow this pattern. And pattern, I like that word pattern here. Pattern is code for the slope. So we can think of this, the pattern here as the slope or relationship between the rise and the run. In this case, the rise is represented by our muffins over the run, which is our donuts. And our rise to run relationship says seven donuts, seven donuts for every two muffins. Now remember, donuts, donuts is our x's. Donuts is our x's on our x-axis, and muffins are our y's on the on the y-axis. So we gotta make sure that when we line this up, we always put you know y's on the top and x's on the bottom, right? Always remember that when we're when we're thinking about rise over run. It's, you know, it's the change in the Y's over the change in the X's. So in this case right here, if we just match it up with muffins to donuts, well, two muffins go on the top, seven donuts go on the bottom, and guess what, team? This is our slope. Meaning, from this point here, we are rising, the baker is selling two muffins, and they are, they're running seven donuts, meaning they're selling another seven donuts. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So what does that mean? Well, our donuts here, they increase by seven. So they sell seven donuts, and they sell, for every seven donuts, they sell two muffins. So we would add the two to the, the 24, and we get 26. And we could take these two data points, or these two points here, and we could create a line. And the idea is we're rising two muffins for every seven donuts, and we could represent that as a slope, always leading with uh, uh, the y's over the x's first, it would be two over seven, or two muffins for every seven donuts. Now, a lot of teachers here, they get, they're gonna get tripped up here because it leads with x's and then y's, but you gotta remember when we represent slope, it's always, we think of the rise, it's always a change in the y's, over the change in the x's. Always y's first, followed by x's. Okay? All right, now in the problem here, when we go back to this, and we're looking at this, uh, this line right here, we're, we're, let's evaluate these options. Are we dealing with the x-intercept or the y-intercept? Well, we've said before, this is our y-intercept. So for that reason, we cross out a and b because these are leading with the x-intercept. And our y-intercept, our starting point is, uh, is here at 0, 24. All right, so now we're at C and D. Now what's the slope? Well, we've identified the rise to run relationship as 2 to 7. So in this case right here, this is the correct slope. This is the correct starting point, 0, 24. D is our answer, not C. All right, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. The answer here is D. Stay tuned for more. Take care, team. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.